Over a million migrants have travelled through Greece since January 2015. More than 2,500 have lost their lives or gone missing on crossings between January and May of this year. In April, the EU-Turkey deal brought about a 90% drop in the number of arrivals in Greece, but a drastic rise in Italy. Scaramangas is one of the 35 Greek refugee camps. Nearly 3,000 migrants have found shelter in this unusual site, which is the location of an Hellenic naval base. The number of migrants arriving here might reach 7,000 within the next few months. This is because of relocation from temporary camps, like Piraeus, where many of these families had previously stayed. The Hellenic Red Cross has a medical center and delivers dry food and hygiene kits every 10 days. Because they are going to stay here for a long time, we need to implement activities for them, possibly lessons for the children, groups for the women to, to have the opportunity to discuss uh, their needs, uh, or are things that we are going to do it from now on. The camp opened at the beginning of April and is home to mainly Syrians and some Afghans and Iraqis. Tempers can quickly flare due to the mix of nationalities and the desperation to leave Greece. I hope I won't stay here for long. They say we're going to stay for about two months, but I hope we'll leave before. Baija comes from Aleppo and lives in a container with her four daughters. She wants to join her 21-year-old son in Germany. Conditions are easier than in other camps. Each container has water, air conditioning and a bathroom. However, she finds it difficult to imagine the future for them. Look where I am right now. How can I think positively about my future? Syria has been destroyed and our homes too. We have no future. After the Balkan transit route was closed off, over 54,000 refugees were left stranded in Greece, with Athens struggling to cope with registrations and asylum seekers' requests. The scale of the refugee crisis here in uh, Greece is huge. Uh, the management of the crisis as well has been considered pretty controversial. It's a big challenge for Europe. What are the priorities? This is the first time we are having a situation like that in Europe. Uh, for this reason, the Commissioner for the Humanitarian Assistance pledged 700 million to assist within three years. We have committed, actually, the first 83 million. Our aim is to assist these people to live with dignity for the time they will stay in Greece. Around 15,000 people have been left stranded near Athens since northern borders were closed. We decided to visit the Eleniko camp in the Greek capital to see how people were coping with the situation. Eliniko was the site of an international airport and the baseball and hockey stadiums for what was once the pride of Greece, the 2004 Olympic Games. These three buildings, abandoned for years, are now used as temporary refugee camps. The Danish Refugee Council gave us exceptional access to Eliniko II, the old airport, home to approximately 1,200 refugees. This is official site. We have seen uh, the population going down because of the conditions, of course, of the site. There are no windows, there, are no, there is no ventilation, so this is definitely not an appropriate site for people to reside during the summer. Uh, the Ministry of Migration are uh, trying to build sites that are appropriate. And there are some efforts, of course, but the process is going slow. Families here waiting to reach other European destinations. There are six toilets for men and six for women inside the old terminal. The Danish Refugee Council, which is financed by the EU, provides food, hygienic materials and second-hand clothes while providing protection assessment. We have been uh, doing a large mapping of the people here in Eliniko, trying to understand the family composition, how, how many are they, which kind of problems they might have. These assessments are the basis for referrals to other agencies that will help refugees in their demands. Many migrants wait, others don't. This Afghan designer is going back to Kabul with his family just three months after arriving in Greece. He paid the smugglers $14,000 for his European dream. We saw how life is in Europe, but that's all behind us now as we're leaving. Here, human rights don't apply to us. We've been here for three months and nothing's changed since our arrival. Migrants need to know the truth before deciding to venture further into Europe.